the different parts of chicken. Hey guys, so in the previous video, I showed you a little bit of uh, Fukuoka, Japan. And this video, I promise you guys, will be a Fukuoka haul video. So let's go through the stuff now, shall we? First of all, electronic toothbrush. This is my personal top recommendation for you. Once you start using it, you cannot go back to a normal manual toothbrush anymore because it cleans so well. And it's operated by AAA battery, so you could bring it travel anywhere. Very convenient. Personal top favorite. Next, uh, here's just some cold medicine, cold drink medicine that I just keep at home for safety. And then it's this sore throat powder drink. So if you have sore throat, just put a pack of powder in the water and then drink it. And it's supposed to help a lot. And then we have these painkiller. It's especially good for period cramps. My mom, my family, and my colleagues also recommended it. So I bought quite a few packs. Next is some more facial or cosmetic products. And this is like a 10 pack facial mask that I got for my colleague. Looks pretty cute. And same brand, I got this makeup remover for myself. And I already used it twice and it works pretty well. And this is the facial cleanser. I saw people online recommending it, so I got two. And I already used it last night and it's pretty good. It doesn't dry out your skin and it's very, very foamy. The foam is very firm and it cleans quite well. Okay, here, another bag of facial products. It's all Fanco stuff. Facial cream, lotion, moisturizer, hand cream, some nutritional pills. By the way, the hand cream is one of the best I've used so far. Cause, well, this one is the newest one that I got when they just released. And uh, I used to use another one that's in white packaging, but this is like a yellowy color. Sorry, this is like a pinkish color, but the other one that I use is white and it works so well. It's unscented, but it moisturizes your skin. And even after washing your hand, it won't be that dry. It still keeps the moisture in it. I've always been a fan of Fanco. And I started using their product when I was in high school and then uh, switched to other brands during like some time later for a few years and then come back to Fanco. It it's just always my favorite. It's just very moisturizing and makes your skin very bouncy and very soft. Yeah. So this time I bought quite a lot in Japan and the price in Japan is like at least 30% cheaper compared to Hong Kong so good deal. Oh by the way, you know the staff is so nice and I went into the store trying to buy the cream and then she's like Oh, uh, how about you buy it tomorrow because uh, tomorrow is going to be a, a discount or promotion. Oh, this product is going to be like 10% cheaper if you buy it tomorrow. Like how nice you wouldn't find it here in Hong Kong. Like they, of course they would want you to buy it as soon as possible. Who cares whether you get the discounts. But in Japan, they actually ask you to come back tomorrow to buy it because it saves you money. So that's something that is very impressive to me. By the way, uh, this is the Japan duty free bag and you're not supposed to open it before you leave Japan. Otherwise, when going through the customs, if you get caught opening it before leaving Japan, you have to pay back the 8% tax. And then we have some stationeries or accessories. These are the stickers that I got for my cousin. And here are some pens. And this is a very cute, small, like, coin pocket. Next, yeah, this thermos is amazing. Ding! This thermos is very light, only 205 grams. And I've always needed a new one. The one that I use at work is so old already. So this time I got a new one. And this color is so cool, look. Right. The next thing that I got for myself is this scale and look, this is the same brand of my toothbrush so I think it's reliable and this scale can also measure your body fat, your metabolism, your uh, muscle rate, your organ fat, your BMI, your whatever, everything so and it looks very sleek. The quality just looks so good. This is like 
something I've been wanting to buy in here but in Japan it's a, a lot cheaper this one is about 40 US but here I think it costs like double and then we have a little bit of food items I didn't get much food because we have limited uh, suitcase space this is like a cake, Nagasaki cake it's supposed to be very famous and I got two of them and I'm gonna share it with my colleagues this next item is ramen because the first day we arrived there we ate at the ramen place called Ichilan and we saw them selling it so we got it also and their ramen is so good it, it's really addicting so we have to buy some but unfortunately I tried it just now and it's just like normal instant noodles and it's a little bit disappointing uh, those are not really worth buying I think more edible drinkable items here some alcohol this is the brown sugar plum wine and this is the maybe apricot wine we had it when we were studying in Japan we had it at a restaurant and we saw them that they used this brand and later on we found it in like a grocery store so we brought back a few and this time we went back to the exact same place and we found it and we were so excited and then I also oh oops and then I also got these two kilograms of rice <laughs> I'm insane right bringing back rice we weren't planning to buy it but we saw it when we went to Bebu the city nearby it's grown by the local farmers and I like supporting local stuff like this so and we already had it last night and it's so good so good the rice is very very shiny and very smooth and rounded so it's it's insane so more food items here are the two packs of the small snacks that my husband gets for his colleagues also bought some uh, apples that's huge that I'm gonna show you right now wait for me these are the apples that we bought from Bebu again and it's so huge we bought two although it's so heavy and so bulky it's very worth it in my opinion it's really good quality and the next items are three pieces of clothing first is this denim jacket look I've always wanted to buy one I just did, couldn't find one that I like and this time in Japan I found this one and I immediately fell in love with it second one also a jacket has zipper detailing on the side and the collar and the sleeves here are in black and golden zipper looks very good on last piece this uh, top dark gray color and middle length of sleeves very simple and yeah so I guess that concludes our Fukuoka haul this time and I really 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 enjoy this trip really I think going to travel is not always about oh always shopping buying stuff you also need to experience the local culture and local atmosphere and this time we went back to Japan is for our one year anniversary and it's we also went back to where we first met uh, we met at Bebu, the city like two some hours away from Fukuoka uh, by train and we really think that nothing's changed it was seven years ago when we first got there and met each other and now seven years passed by nothing's changed there and we went back to where we were and it really brings back memory and yeah so we really appreciate this trip and I also hope you enjoy this haul and the previous vlogging video and I'll try to do more fun travel video in the future if I get to travel of course but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye bye wow. Please give it a thumbs up and let me know which item you think is the best buy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!